fearless pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of the War video. Today's video is going to be full of a, quite a few commanders as we do a lot of tests as um, we're in a replay of Season 5, I believe, or is it Season 3, one of the two, um, and we have elite units in it. And I want to go over these skills um, on particular units. This is going to be for the good side. Uh, if evil side have an equivalent of it, you could use it with them as well. You just have to look for that skill. I just don't know who it would be on the evil side. So we're going to enter our barracks here, guys. Um, and we're going to go into the elite training area. Now, for the good side, um, I haven't been for all of the neutral units. So I don't know if any of those have it. But... The main ones here is we want to be looking at Sentinels and Cavaliers because on their level 2 elite training, you are going to be unlocking this ability right here called Rise Up. And as you can see right now, it says Commander and Army Damage Dealt plus 13.5% when the army is comprised of units. So at a maximum, it is 15. I'm at level 9 at the moment. So, the, um, so as you can see, max level will be 15%. So, um, and it's when you use, um, comprised of an army, comprised of three different races. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So you're going to think of what kind of commanders will work good with a mixed, um, amount of race, like, uh, Gandalf the Grey, which I'm probably going to try to test out. Um, I'm going to try out King Aragorn, Gandalf the White, um, even put a, um, just maybe even with Theoden as well, which could be broken OP as well. Um, but yeah, that's the Sentinels there, and then it also works on the Cavaliers, um, as you can see, the Elite Level 2, um, at 15% as well. So these are double gonna stack, so basically, if you have these maxed out, you're gonna get an extra 30% damage, uh, done by your Commander and the Army. Now, this could be really good to use on things like Dwalin, Gimli, and stuff, where, um, all you have to do is just have three different races, like for Gimli, if you want to just do the big stack of Guardians and then have just um, minimum amounts of the Sentinels and Cavaliers, you're still going to get those buffs for the entire game. So I've I'll, come up with a few troop combinations and stuff uh, for a few commanders, but obviously you're going to be wanting to be using those. Um, and then, so those two, the Sentinels and Cavaliers. So if I just go into my commanders, uh, for example... And I'll show you um, an example right here on my Gandalf the Grey. So, if I used Sentinels and Cavaliers, which I'm pretty low on at the moment, I just have to... Um, I don't think I've got it. Oh, they're up here. Let me just grab them off um, King Aragorn. And I just got a couple of real big battles at the moment up there. So, against a few people. So, I don't really have a lot. So, if you're running these two, you're going to get the double rise up ability. And then you want to be using a dwarf. I recommend the guardian. So this is going to be a really good troop combination for it. Um, if you're going to use it on certain commanders, if you wanted to use it on Gimli or something like that, um, I'm not really using him this season. Like Gimli, Dane, or whatever to while in. Um, yeah, you just want to go with this build where you have a ton of the guardians, and then all you need is just the minimum of these guys. So 50 of them. And then the Sentinels, wherever they're the bloody hiding, they might all still be on Gandalf the Grey. Um, let me just grab them off. So, we we'll just grab all them off real quick. And just put the minimum on, so you still can have all your buffs and that um, with your good old Dwarves there. So, then we just grab these Sentinels and put the minimum out. And then, imagine you've got like five, 6,000 whatever here, and you just stack all that up. Um, and it's going to look like that. So that's basically how you're going to be running the troop combinations. Now, with Theoden, who I've got away at the moment, I'm basically... Um, I don't have these guys elite yet as well. So they, this is even going to be stronger when I have elite units um, on my dwarven units because I don't haven't been using many dwarves this season. But when I um, am running Theoden, I only can run one because you don't want to be running Sentinels with me. But even with an extra 13.5% or 15% when it's maxed, um, I'm going to be running the Bow Knights and then the Cavaliers for the extra Rise Up. And then I'm going to run the Ram Riders here. So, yeah, we'll definitely test it out later on um, in that combination for Theoden as well. But, yeah, um, as you'll see, um, 
I'm probably going to test out probably Gandalf the White, Theoden, maybe um, Gandalf the Grey. So in our first test um, of using multiple commanders and that with this rise up ability and stuff like that, we got into our first fight just a moment ago with Gandalf the White. Um, and it was against a Witch King, so we know Witch King's very strong. Um, so we're going to just go over the results. So as you can see, I used Sentinels and I used the Cavaliers because of their double rise up. Um, I have this one level 9, so it gives an extra buff of 13.5% uh, for commander and army damage dealt. We'll show it when we do the breakdown. And then the same with the Cavaliers, I got their, they're on 9, so sorry, so they're 13.5. And the Sentinels, I got 9 as well, so they're 13.5. So, uh, technically, you're going to be getting um, a 27% um, increase of damage for each uh for the commander and each troop that you're using so it's pretty crazy um as you can see we're getting a, uh, a 46 witch king with i'd say i don't think it's the highest respect um but still like he's using the main things you want to use um like stun and initiative and follow-up um we actually won that fight i know we're a couple of levels stronger and stuff like that but we did quite amazingly well there um, so we took about 200 to 259,000 minus 30,000. So we took about, uh, what there, about 160,000 to 260,000 damage. So really good. But as you can see with the breakdown here, guys, this is where we're getting a lot more of the extra damage. And I'm thinking of doing a couple of adjustments to his skills and stuff like that. I think if you got Surge, um, if we get Surge, um, on Gandalf the White, it's going to be a lot more crazy. So as you can see at the start here, you get where all your buffs and everything are. When you get to the buffs here, so as you can see, Sentinels rise up. So it's going to give Gandalf, Sentinel, Guardians, and Cavalier an extra 13.5%. I think it's 15 at the max level 10. So that's going to get that damage buffed. But then, um, that, that was for the um, Sentinels. Then... It's also going to hit for the uh, Cavaliers as well. And so I'm going to get another 13.5% damage increase. So 27% um, total when these guys hit. So basically, that's what's really good. So if we go to round one. Where are we? Wow, this, this is a lot of activation. All right, so we got outspeeded first, which is perfectly fine. Um, Gandalf the White attacked, and then when it came to troops, uh, Sentinels attacked. I'm just seeing if we got some follow-up and stuff, which we didn't really get the best. We got a lot of stun. We got stun there with the, uh, the Cavaliers. So we actually got some really bad RNG in this battle as well. Um, if I had, um, stun immunity, we would have absolutely destroyed, um, that Witch King, to be honest. Um, and I, I didn't even know it was a Witch King coming. It was just a battle that happened. Um, yeah, but not too bad, quite interesting, but that extra damage, um, my Gandalf the White, maximum, like, damage-wise, um, usually only gets, a, like, a certain amount of damage, um, yeah, but that's basically what's happening there, so, we're gonna do some more tests, as you can see, I'm leveling up King Aragon at the moment, I think he's gonna be really good, especially with all the commander damage, an extra 27% on the commander damage, as well as on the troops, is gonna be amazing, Obviously, I'm not using that troop combination on him at the moment. Uh, I'm just mocking him up um, and leveling him up and stuff like that. I'm just currently getting his gear leveled up. Rightio, guys. So we have, we're getting some armies into place at the moment. We're about to get into some PvP on this ruins here. I'm just currently pushing up. Um, there are some very strong armies in here. Like, I'm not even kidding, really strong. This is going to be um, a very big battle. It's probably going to lose a lot of troops here. So we have a very strong level 50 Khaldun here. It looks like it's pretty high respect. Very good gear. This is going to be a very tough battle. Khaldun is absolutely amazing. And then we've got a Sunid who we're going to try um take her down with my Isildur. Um, the only problem with Isildur is I forgot that I wasn't having his axe on there at the moment. So... Um, I don't have this back refined strength. It's basically I'm just going to have a little bit less might. That's that's all. I still got all the benefits from it, so it's going to be fine. But the first thing we need to do is take down the Khaldun. And we're going to be... Um, there's not much I can do about it. He's very strong against mounted, but 
Um, we're going to be using my Theoden here, um, who has Rise Up, because this is all about Rise Up. Um, we do have the Cavaliers on here. We've got 400, so we've got one of each race. So we're going to get an extra 13.5% buff. So we're going to see how we do with Theoden. Um, we are lower level, only by one level. We are at a disadvantage. He has a lot of burn damage as well as anti-mounted. Um, so we're going to be... Yeah, we're going against the odds here. So if we could get a draw or something here, we might get absolutely destroyed. But either way, um, I need to get past him so I can get to the Sunid. Um, from when the way I seen how it was stacked. Uh, then we're going to be going in with a sealed door for the Sunid. And we should do pretty well there. Okay, so we've got a draw. Let's see. Okay, honestly, not too bad for how strong this Khaldun is, guys. I think he's got really good gear. Um, was he doing madness at all? No. Very high respect, though. A lot of points there. Um, I knew I was going to take a lot more damage. Um, so that was pretty good. The rise up definitely helped us there. Usually I would die there, so I was pretty happy with um, how that went. Uh, the Bow Knights definitely helped a lot there. But as you can see, these guys were the problem. Um, we're going to now try to finish that one off with my Gandalf the Grey level 44 guys, who has double rise up. Um, he's got about two minutes to get up here, so it's just going to take a little bit. Um, and then we're going to go in with a seal door. Um, i got Gilgalad here for uh, safety as well if I need it. But basically, uh, yeah, Gandalf the Grey, we'll go over him real quick. Um, I've got him to level 44, and I can tell you now, Gandalf the Grey is absolutely amazing. He's... An excellent all-round commander. Uh, so we are running March Wardens. Um, and then we've got the Cavalier. And then we've got the um, the Guardians. Now, I didn't have enough Sentinels here. I could have run Sentinels here and had double rise up. But I only had 1144, so I didn't want to go too crazy. And I wanted to use the Sentinels on my Seal Door for this Sunid after because I didn't have a lot. But still, we're going to get that 13.5% buff. Um, it would be 15%. Um, if I had a bit more gold to level it up. Um, and I, I leveled up these Guardians a little bit more now. They're at level 7s. Um, so yeah, this is the troop combination. And we're going to get that uh, buff as well. So again, off the grey, we'll do not too bad against Sunid as well. Like, um, as you can see, that Khaldun is pretty much finished now. I don't know how far this guy's base is away. He could be um, awake or anything, re-strengthening this. And then that's going to be a problem. But I think we're going to be pretty alright. Um, if he was awake, he'd probably send his suited out and try to bounce me straight away. Um, but yeah, getting off the grades, just marching up here. Got a few more seconds. Um, if you want to see the gear, um, for my Gandalf the Grey, I'm not rocking... Oh, it's all not bad. It's not bad. We have a little chance of inflicting madness, but it's not full strength. It's basically... We do have focus reduction here, which is really good, though, but it's not going to really be too handy in these battles. Um, and then, of course, my Theta, and we all know his gear... Um, and basically, yeah, that's going to be it pretty much, but, um, testing out the rise up. So we have a single rise up here where with Gandalf the White yesterday when we versed, um, I think, sorry, yeah, when we used Gandalf the White the other day, we destroyed Witch King, but I honestly think with Gandalf the Grey, if I could get him up to like level 48 or something and get that double rise up set up, he would absolutely destroy Witch Kings. All right. So yeah, I knew we we're going to die there. Okay, so we went up against the Sunid, um, which is fine. I knew we were going to do that, and then we we're going to die, so that's completely fine. Now, the big challenge is we're going to send Isildur in. So, let's go, shall we? So, wait, I'm trying to click on the thing. It won't let me march. Oh, by the way, I better um, bring Theoden back real quick. And um, we did already weaken him a little bit, but um, let me just show you how good a Isildur does. Remember, I don't have my full might. I usually have, like, another, like... 40 might on top, so keep that in mind um, for my seal door. Um, but yeah, my skilling wise is pretty good. I've gone with the last alliance and everything like that. Um, I have a chance of stunning and everything. So yeah, we've got all the reductions and all of things like that. So yeah, um, yeah, this is going to be just an absolute victory. Simple, like uh, a seal door is an absolute monster. So let's go have a look. Um, yeah, we took out both armies as well. But as you can see, even um, if Sunni was full strength with the 70,000, I still would have uh, absolutely destroyed it. 
Um, so yeah, we did really good there. Like, I only took 80,000. I usually take about 150,000 damage when our uh, Sunu is full strength. But yeah, this troop combination here is absolutely fantastic. Um, actually, I didn't even have Rise Up on a sealed door. Oh yeah, I did because I had the Sentinels. But, um, oh no, I didn't because I didn't have three different races, so never mind. Um, but yeah, we did uh, quite well there. Now I've just got to siege this thing down. Um, before that, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to send my armies and siege this, but yeah, um, as you can see, we're doing quite well, Rise Up does work very well, um, as, like, if we just go to the battles and stuff, like, we go to Gandalf the Grey, because we had the Cavaliers, it will have the same buff as we had before in the last fight, so you just, uh, search for here, and as you can see, it gives a plus of 13 point. So yeah, as you can see, it gives us our 13.5% buff. Alright, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Um, keep in touch. We're going to be going over some Season 7 info, hopefully soon. More about the Yule Tide and everything like that. So until next time, peace out, EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See you.